Sasha Poy, how are you doing? Hey, in this video, how to be a mature man. So let's talk about the identity crisis within masculinity because this has become such a huge debate because a lot of things are currently shifting, right? Within the consciousness of the planets and, you know, consciousness within ourselves and such. And a lot of things are changing between the male and the, f uh, you know, the female. And, you know, we kind of wonder, so what exactly does it leave me as a man, right? So let's talk about that. It also has to do with some needs that maybe were never met. Um, and we also have a look at, you know, the toxic masculinity as well that can cause that, you know, we start to behave in a way that we prefer not to. Um, so yeah, let's dive straight in. Because this concept, I've been exploring this myself for quite a while. Um, I think the last one or two years or so, I already made a few videos about it. Uh, one video was about, you know, so what exactly is wrong uh, with masculinity? And that had to do is that over the last decades or so, or centuries, we had a specific kind of role, right, as a male. We had to provide, we had to, you know, provide safety, security for our family, the female and such. And a lot of things have shifted, right? Because now women are, we, we became much more equal. So women are now also doing what we were always doing as men. And women became more independent from men, financially, emotionally and such. So now we ask ourselves, so, okay, all great, you know, great stuff. But where does it leave me as a man, right? What does, where does it leave me with my masculinity? What does it even mean to be masculine at all? I mean, my girlfriend, she often said, you know, I think you're masculine enough. And I was like, okay, so, but what exactly does it mean anyway, right? Because, of course, I also had a lot of doubts, insecurities, um, you know, dealing with my sensitivities and, 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 and many, many things. Or with, with stress, anxiety, depression, burnout, or being already in an in between job for way too long not making the kind of career that i was dreaming about and you know settling down a little bit and then we leave you know with questions so you know what is my purpose in life right what is my how can i bring more meaning to my life how can i experience more satisfaction and fulfillment within myself but anyway let's go back to you know what's wrong with masculinity is that in the beginning um, the archetype of masculinity was that, you know, we have to climb, um, you know, the food chain, right? You have to become an alpha male, we have to become a leader, we have to become a provider. We have to gain safety, security, gain status, social status, because then you will be attractive to the female. Because then the female would, of course, realize like, okay, that's the man who can, you know, give me children and uh, provide safety and security for me. But that all has changed. Of course, it's still kind of rooted in our psychology, both male and female. Um, but that's, that has much more related to do with, with the gender, masculinity in gender. Because I, I'm also going to talk about, so in every gender, every male and female, there's both masculine and feminine energy. So which we're also going to talk about, which is quite interesting as well. Another thing is what's wrong with masculinity is that um, when we think about masculinity, it's actually, you know, energy that has been produced by the left side of the brain. Logic, rationality, pragmatic thinking, outgoing, externalizing, giving, making things happen and getting out in the world. So it's a very externalized type of energy, right? Now, this is what, have, what we have been doing for the last centuries, decades, and that has sh created our current society, right? Which is, again, is very um, externali or externally focused, very material, consumer-driven, right? And now we have simply everything at the snap of our fingertips, right? We don't have to go out in the world anymore to go and hunt for our foods. We, we take our credit card, we, we use our contactless and boom, we have food, right? So now the only thing you have to make sure of is that you have enough money on your credit card. Um, and again, money is not real anymore. It's just some digit on a bank account. So a lot of things has shifted that, you know, it has become very hard for us to, to, to cope with at a psychology and emotional level and at a spiritual level as well. And because this entire shift that has occurred, again, you know, 
this made us question like okay so where does it leave me as an as an as a man right as a masculine figure because what we have been doing again using this masculine energy to get out in the world and materialize things right is to gain things manifest things but now we have started to realize like wait a minute something is off right something is out of balance and that is because we are not really being taught as male to also being able to internalize our sense and perception of the world right how is everything related to our internal world getting in touch with your feelings and emotions you know we often believe in our collective that's not very masculine because masculine is about getting out in the world getting things done so that's one thing right we're not being taught to internalize as well which is actually more you know the feminine energy the feminine energy which has kind of produced by the right side of the brain which is creativity intuition um, empathy compassion you know it, it can really dive within and you know gaining clarity over your emotions and stuff like that and because you know we always thought that was a weakness and we as men we have to become strong and whatnot so what we were what we were doing for so long is being able to suppress that part that feminine part inside of us and over the last centuries we actually have been doing that to the to the to the you know to the feminine as well right to the to the females as well is suppressing and dominating over the female right is being in power and control or even dominates and manipulates but we also have been doing this to ourselves, the feminine energy that also exists in ourselves, because we believe like hey that's a weakness and stuff like that and getting in touch with that you know we men we shouldn't be doing that we should be warriors right and now because we have been so abusive to our own inner self our true self the inner being which we talk a lot about on this channel now we feel like we are lost right we are lost because we are unable to dive within right getting in touch with our inner world and this is actually causing this identity crisis so what i recommend you to do is actually explore the different kind of archetypes within masculine energy and every man should actually read the book king warrior magician lover and in this book um, it goes about you know the different kind of archetypes so for example you know the warrior kind of energy that is you know the kind of that really fights for his freedom for his independence right is you know that wants to come back with food on the table right it's, it wants to kind of like fight for the tribe um, and that sort of things now of course there's also a shadow side of that which has much more to do with um, let's say the the muscle chest you know that, that that goes really in a very very dark side as well um so it's really good to be very become very aware of that um also the warrior you know the young warrior you know wants to go through let's say initiation in order to become a man right and in order to do that he has to prove his worth for let's say through accomplishments um again which is a great beautiful thing but sometimes if we don't watch out we can also you know hurt others in the process right through power control domination manipulation and that that makes us feel shit again the king uh, the archetype of the king is you know the person who steps into his leader role right this could be the father the husband the entrepreneur the business owner he wants to create an empire in order to you know offer safety security protection um, who goes really in the state of creating a wealth and abundance so that's also a very very interesting and very beautiful archetype as well now these are of course you know what we like to identify as masculine energy however within the masculine we also have the warrior and the lover now the lover you know that's the poet that's the artist that is you know the creative intuitive channeler together with the, with the magician the lover he sees connection with an everything right it's a very free flowing kind of water kind of energy right that really likes to go with the flow of everything within life the magician the magician is you know the very wise person that really is able to channel in in a very intuitive way that is basically like almost like able to channel in the spiritual or metaphysical side of life here in the material uh, world so this is something that i would highly recommend to go and read check it out uh, has been very helpful for me uh, but another thing that i really want 
to give in this video is actually starting to realize so to become a mature man to really become you know I would almost like to say divine masculine divine masculine is actually the type of um, energy or man that has that has embraced the divine feminine within within himself who has embraced the more sensitive intuitive compassion caring loving um, kind of energy that exists inside himself not just be the warrior or the king but also getting in touch with the lover and the magician and that's something we are a little bit afraid to do so right because this is not really something that is yet embedded in our conditioning right or in our collective conditioning so if you learn to connect with more with the spiritual side of life the inner self the true self then you can actually really start to grow up as an a man and bring everything much more into balance and harmony and that is also what becomes more attractive to the feminine as well because uh, you know maybe women can say okay yeah we, we just want to see the alpha male right but you know alpha males they can also work 80 90 hours a week um, spend all the time and energy in the business career and whatnot but neglect other sides in their life areas like you know neglect even their own families and such and say you know what I'm the provider I do this I do that you know it's a very controlling kind of dominant energy but actually if you ask women so is that really what you want or do you also want someone who can you know show his empathy and compassion towards you and spend time with the family and have a greater balance and harmony within a lot of things in order to create that of course you have to get more in touch with the intuitive spiritual uh, side of life so if you want the advice from that you need to talk to a Pisces which you're talking to right now uh, because Pisces as you might know uh, these are you know um, the last sign of the um, the zodiac sign and these are really the kind of very intuitive empathetic sensitive uh, folks who also, of course also struggle with this idea like hey what does it mean to really to be a masculine um, but these are the people that explores more the creative intuitive sensitive empathetic compassion uh, loving caring side of life um, so if there's something you would like to learn and develop more of then I should you know you should consider subscribing to this channel because this is a topic i'm constantly exploring and sharing with you so hope it was helpful hope you saw some value in this in case you have any questions or thoughts you would like to share then of course make sure to leave a comment below and make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification for any further updates Jean Paul here take care for now bye bye